Hello dear students, welcome all of you to one more session of carbohydrates. Today let's learn some of the very important structures of 5 carbohydrates. Let us first see the structures of hexoses. As you know that carbohydrates are divided into aldoses and ketoses. Aldoses are those which contain aldehyde group as functional group and ketoses are those which contain ketone group as their functional group. If aldehyde is the functional group, it always occupies the first carbon in carbohydrates. The ketos, it occupies the second carbon in carbohydrates. With this introduction, let's learn the structures of carbohydrates. Let's, let's first learn the structures of hexoses. Hexoses are those which contain six carbons and they are monosaccharides. In the hexoses, we will see the structure of glucose, galactose and mannose. First see the structure of glucose and you know they contain six carbons. Let's first draw the skeleton. 4, 5, 6. We will number them also. This is first carbon, second carbon, third carbon, fourth carbon, fifth carbon and sixth carbon. On the first carbon, you know as it is aldose, CHO group is present and by default all the carbohydrates they contain CH2OH. On the last carbon, the monosaccharides all of them they contain CH2OH by default. If it is aldose, on the first carbon they contain aldehyde group and on the last carbon they contain CH2OH. Then on the right side as we are going to draw the D structures only that is why we will start from the penultimate carbon. Last but one this carbon is called penultimate carbon. From this carbon for glucose we will write OH, OH, H and OH. On the other side towards the left side we will draw alternatively H and OH. We need not remember them but just write hydrogen or hydroxyl group. Okay how can you remember this means? Remember these four carbons. Aldohexoses they contain aldehyde group on the first carbon CH2OH on the last carbon. The middle four carbons start from the penultimate carbon. It is OH, OH, H, OH. If you can remember this notification, it is very easy to remember the structure of glucose. Now we have drawn the structure of glucose and this glucose is called D-glucose because the hydroxyl group on the penultimate carbon is towards the right side. So they belong to the D structures. With this introduction, let's write the structure of galactose also in the similar manner. All these glucose, galactose and mannose, they are aldohexoses. For galactose also, six carbons. Let's number them. One, two, three, four, five and six. And the last one, I told you it is CH2OH. And the first carbon it is CHO. Then from the last but one, we have to write OH, H, H and OH. On the left hand side, just to write the hydrogen and hydroxyl groups. Don't remember them. Then here, if you can remember, for galactose it is OH, H, H, OH. Now we have drawn the structure of galactose. Let's also write the structure of mannose in the similar fashion which also contain six carbons 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. The first carbon it is CHO, the last one it is CH2OH. Then from the last but one for mannose it is OH, OH, H and H. On the left hand side just write hydroxyl and hydrogens. We wrote the structure of the mannose. These three are very important structures in carbohydrates. Once you learn these open chain structures, these are called open chain structures. They are also called as fissure structures. Along with these three carbohydrates, let's also learn one ketose and one pentose. See, this is aldohexose, which contains hexose means six carbons and aldehyde containing that is why it is aldohexose. Let's learn the structure of ketohexose. The best example for ketohexose is fructose. Let's write the structure. It is 
in a similar fashion like that of the glucose it is a keto hexose that is why six carbons four five six and the last one it is ch2oh i told you for the keto hexose the ketone group comes in the second carbon so on the second carbon will write ketone group that is why on the first carbon also it comes ch2oh there are only three carbons where we have to write the structures properly these three carbons just start from the penultimate last but one carbon these structures are similar to that of glucose if you remember the structure of glucose it is very easy to write the structure of fructose so for glucose also we wrote oh oh and h for fructose also it is the similar structure oh oh h here also oh oh h on the left hand side we will just fill up we will not write anything here because the carbon has a four valency already four bonds are there for this carbon this is the structure of d fructose which is a keto hexose why means it contains six carbons and it contains a ketone group that is why it is keto hexose this is simply the open chain structure of fructose let's learn one of the pentose which contains five carbons let's learn aldopentose the best example is ribose aldopentose means which contain aldehyde group and five carbons 1 2 3 4 5 only the last one ch2oh as it is aldose it is cho above and for ribose you can very easily remember on the right hand side all are oh just on the left hand side fill up with hydrogens that's all it is d ribose hope it is very easy to understand the structures of these five carbohydrates what we learned today it is the structure of glucose galactose mannose fructose and ribose for all these five carbons we learned open chain structures the ribose it is the part in dna and rna fructose is a fruit sugar mannose galactose and glucose they are commonly occurring carbohydrates or monosaccharides these are the basics in carbohydrates once you learn the open chain structures then it is very easy to learn the ring structure in carbohydrates in the next class let's learn the ring structures for carbohydrates thanks for listening